Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the La Sportiva Squama. Okay, I'm gonna start today's video by talking about the design of the shoe. So as you can see, it's a pretty standard kind of sport bouldering shoe. It has that slip-on style design with that Velcro strap closure, really just dial in and lock that heel. And pretty much what I use it for mostly right now is for bouldering. And I've used a, li a little bit for sport climbing, but I think it's a great all around shoe and the Squama is just really comfortable and I think it really hits the boxes for any types of climbing for overhang, slab, um, sport climbing as I have mentioned already. And one thing I'd like to note for today's video is that <clears throat> I have owned this shoe for about two months now and so I'm just doing like a short term review and this review will also be about the women's sizing version of the La Sportiva Squama. I have found that this uh, version fit, I have found that this version fits my foot better than the men's version just because it has a narrow toe box and a narrow heel and so today's review will be on the women's version of the Squama. Okay so the first thing I like to start talking about is this fit of the shoe. So the sizing right now currently for me is a 39 and a half. This is and I wear a men's street size eight and a half. And so I have found that this shoe has been really comfortable. One thing I do like to mention in the fit is that this shoe will stretch out quite a bit. It probably has stretched out almost a full size and I really didn't expect that. If I were to get the shoe again, I definitely would go down a half size or even maybe a full size down again, just to get to where I would have liked it. But still, I think this is a great fit for my foot and it's still very comfortable, still does it still does everything I want it to do in the climbing gym. I still have been very impressed by how the shoe fits. So next thing I like to mention about the fit of the shoe is that it comes with this S heel. And personally for me, this has been a comfortable shoe, but the heel still does not fit me, you know, quite where I've liked it. It's kind of a little bit loose around just that bottom part of the heel. So I do get a little bit of um, open space down there but it has not really affected you know, too much of my performance doing heel hooks or any type of uh, moves with the heel. And I think that could be due to maybe that sizing issue I had mentioned before. So if I did go down a half size or even a full size better, I think it would fit a lot better. But um, as of you know, this review of this shoe that I have been using for the past couple months, it hasn't been the most um, fitting or I guess, wait, that's the word hasn't been the most like formed to my heel as I would have liked compared to previous shoes I have worn. And yeah, like I had mentioned, just if you do want to try out the shoe, make sure you do try it on. But when you do, if it does feel tight, maybe go a little half size smaller, just because I just want to warn you guys that this shoe does stretch. And I wish I would have known that when I had first bought it, so I would have got you know a more secure fit, but I found that it did stretch out a full size. So make sure you guys try it out if you, can or yeah make sure you guys try it out if you can um, whether that's in a shop or if you're climbing gym okay yeah okay we're still getting everything still recording okay so talking about the performance of the shoe this has been a really great shoe i've been mostly using it indoors and mostly bouldering i have only used it a couple times sport climbing but i'm going to be talking about you know my experience with it bouldering so to start off, this shoe uses the Vibram XS grip. You probably can't see that because it's pretty much faded away. But this shoe uses the Vibram XS grip too. And I have found that this rubber has been super sticky um, in all types of climbing, like I said, slab and even um, overhang climbing when I need to secure like the heel or like the toe. Um, this rubber has been really great. I do prefer, you know, a little bit stickier rubber indoors, like the Butor and you, the <laughs> like using the but. <laughs> oh my goodness, why can't I speak? Okay, I do prefer a stickier rubber compound, like the Butora Neo Fuse rubber. I found that that has been just a little bit stickier and a little bit better performing indoors. But I have been so far still satisfied with the performance of this rubber on the shoe. Okay, and one thing I've actually want to mention and. I have really been impressed with about this shoe is this rubber toe patch as you can see that's been um, you know on the shoe 
I found that this has been a great um, toe patch. It's probably the best one because one, it's really thin and you can really get a feel of where you want to place, you know, the four front of your foot on different holds and when you need to get those you know toe hooks on the holds <laughs> sorry let me let me redo that <laughs> so i have found that this has actually been a really great toe patch compared to a lot of other shoes it's really thin and you really get a good sensitivity on different types of toe hooks and the rubber this vibram rubber has been super good i have not had it slip on me ever and i actually think it's been a little bit too sticky in some circumstances that I found that you know it's been almost felt like cheating but you know it's a shoe that's what it's made to do but I've been really impressed by the toe patch that has they have put on the Squama and um, I guess as we're on the topic of doing toe hooks we'll go to the heel so this um, has been really great also for heel hooks as I have mentioned already that uh, this heel does not fit me perfectly, but I still feel like I have got a lot of performance in what I've wanted it to do in terms of heel hooks, especially the back system right here. I found like it really locks in for some reason whenever I'm wrapping my foot around like an overhang and you just got to get the, almost like the Achilles heel, this section up here. That's just been really sticky and really great and I really had no problem with it slipping or have a problem with the sensitivity or the feel of the hold when I'm doing that. But overall, I still have been impressed by the heel that has been integrated on the Squama. Okay, and talking about the rubber and like stability capabilities, a little rhyme there, but um, I have found really this has been a great shoe for that. It has a really good edge. I've really had no problem or I guess hesitation when I'm putting my foot on the hold if it's gonna slip. I felt really confident in putting my trust in the shoe and the front rubber right here. But the shoe uses, as you can see, um, it's a little too bright right there, but it uses the La Sportiva P3 system, branding system. And this is on a lot of their performance shoe, like the theories and the um, solutions. This has been, you know, just a great brand system just because it, one, it keeps the shape and the the durability of the shoe, you know, makes it, keeps it, you know, they claim as for the lifetime of the shoe. And so, as you can see, it still has that downturn factor that is um, in the system right now. But I really have, haven't really felt any like fatigue in my foot in wearing these shoes. Um, it has that great support. So it is, you know, a flexible shoe um, compared to a lot of other, you know, more aggressive performing overhang types of shoe but I think that's what makes this shoe great is that it still has you know the flexibility that you need for like volume or slab climbing and then it still gives you that toe power when you need it to do overhang or any types of like sport climbing as I had mentioned. Okay and to answer the final question of would I buy this shoe again my answer would be yes. I absolutely love this shoe it's probably the most comfortable shoe I've owned. I've owned a lot of you know other shoes that are in this style and this has probably been the most fitting for my foot but again the heel I think I keep bringing it up but that's the only thing that I feel like could be a little bit better for me but I can I am if I were to buy the shoe again I definitely would go down to that half size or even full size smaller just to get that secure locking that I you know would have liked in this shoe. Okay, so that was my experience and my review of the La Sportiva Squama. So if you guys like to see more reviews of other shoes or other types of climb, other types of climbing equipment that I've used, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel because I have a lot more reviews coming soon. But yeah, that's pretty much my review of the La Sportiva Squama. So catch you in the next one.